Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. This is your Arrow Logo host, Channel 8730, and uh, since last time you can see, I did a bit of grinding. Um, mainly just to get the right gear that I wanted. Okay, everybody quick with reflect, reflect rings, the highest pa possible magical evasion I can get. There we go. That's why I got white cape on. Trigger just for the magic defense. More importantly, I did gamble for a cat ear hood for realm there. To get that, you need to get an impartisan. Um, you can either win them from Tyrannosaurs in the um, dinosaur forest. I'll show that later. Um, or you could get them from, I think you can steal them from a mantis enemy. Um, bet that, and then you bet. Um, yeah, I think you just bet that and you get the cat ear. Also got a lot of lures here that are really good. Um, most importantly, like I said, uh, Mighty Guard. Get Mighty Guard, um, fight those sand rays in the um, island where you start off in the World of Ruin. And before you get a turn, you toss them a remedy. That way they take away auto sap and just control them. And there you go. Big Guard. Well, Mighty Guard. Let's go up the most boring, boring, boring stage area of a RPG ever. The Cultist Tower or Tower of Fanatics. Yeah, this is all it is. It's a long stairway. Circular stairway for five screens. We have a new enemy level 30 magic. And now, notice the weird thing about this area is you can't attack. All you can do is use magic. Now, what's weird in this version is um, I believe in the SNES and in the PlayStation 1 version Strago, Strago could still use his, um, he could still use his blue magic or his lore. But in this version, no, just straight, just magic, nothing else. That's why I brought this particular setup, and because that's why everybody has reflex rings, because a lot of pre uh, enemies in this area do have the auto reflex status. So it's a good way of bouncing um, and getting around their reflexes. All right. um, also, a lot of enemies enemies here drop ethers just to keep your MP uh, fulfilled. But more importantly, you gain no XP for this stage, only AP and money. Here we get a safety bit. If you hit the switch here, we open a secret passage. Safety bits and accessory makes you uh, immune to instant death. We're going to want that for a later stage, trust me. Uh, smarter enemies, level 10, level 20 magic. Ooh, Gravika. That's my hurt. Oh, yeah. They're not too tough, though. Let's see. Let's see if I can banish them. Bounce some fire elemental spells. Hey, it did work on one of them. Better nothing, I guess. Bounce it around. <laughs> Not bad. All right. And we learned to spell. Okay. Heal up Sally's real quick because that sucked. Also, what's good is um, Osmosis, I believe, bypasses um, Reflect. So you can still use that to gain some MP if you need to. Inside our little secret room here, we get the Air Anchor. Last accessory, last um, tool we get for it. Um, you use it, and I think it could cause a version of instant death, if I'm not mistaken. Um, new enemy, level 40 magic. Yeah, he'll, he'll vanish enemies, though, but don't worry. Oh, I think that's gonna be bad. Boom. Yeah, with air anchor, all it does is, um, you use it, and it may or may not hit. And if it does hit, and they act and actually do something next turn, they die. So it's kind of like an instant death, but not really. Oh, you got... Why I try to do that? I don't think Banish is going to work. Just make it look easier. Now, like you see here, you have to be kind of careful because the enemies will kind of brighten up a little bit and start casting their own magic, uh, their own beneficial magic against you and bounce them up and get on them. And fortunately, yeah, he wasn't the brightest and he went ahead and he cast... Um, <laughs> First of all, I want to do a test here. I just want to test to see if Osmosis will bypass people. But yeah, he wasn't the brightest here, and he cast Silence on me, which bounced off and silenced him. And since you can only use magic here, yeah, he's kind of screwed with the tattoo. Excuse me. 
Early morning, early morning. Early bird gets the worm, I guess, right? Ooh, hey, here we go. Realm Learn ba uh, Berserk. That's something you definitely, definitely want. Make sure at least one person knows Berserk. And also make sure at least one person knows Re-Race. It is essential for getting through this stage. Trust me. Okay, we're not going to use any Phantom. I'll just equip another Esper, I guess. Yeah, but don't be afraid of actually having espers that teach magic here, guys. You can learn a lot of magic AP going up this long stairway. But since you can't learn, you don't gain XP, I wouldn't worry about, you know, gaining levels. So, yeah. It's not a bad area to grind from uh, magic spells, if you really think about it. Okay, got two or two of them. Oh, uh, yeah, let's bounce some spells. Let's probably get some feedback for Tellies. There we go. Now, although level 10 looks like it'd be an undead monster, I don't think it is. That's why we're actually able to utilize um, that. Hey, Sally's learned Firaga. Awesome. That's the bad about level to learn a level 3 um, elemental spell. Up the stairs we go. Yeah. Oh, level 50 to 60 magic. This is when things start to get a little tricky. Oh, you gonna bounce by all on yourself? <laughs> oh no, he can use tornado. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's a weird thing. I don't know why he keeps casting damage. Oh, he used to... Yeah, good, that's, that's really with the read maybe to also have a lot of magic defense. He ain't gonna worry about physical defense. Because he can't be physical attack. But also, like, the one thing, a few things that can bypass, um... Reflect? Yeah. He definitely wants some defense against Moses, um... And I say, if they decide to bite them, actually start bouncing out of the spell against themselves. Luckily enough, they haven't really learned that. Bounce around. <laughs> Nicely done. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's heal up real quick. Uh, I guess that he's looking okay. Head up the stairs. See what's in here. Hey, it's another chest with a Genji shield. All right, we need that for later. Uh, I might equip it now. Uh, can you get the Genji shield? I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can. Um, yeah, I think we're good there. Uh, I'm low level now. I'm probably gonna turn off encounters after a while because like I said, y'all seen the most of most of the encounters here already. And honestly, I really want to get through this stage because it's so boring. Let's do some busy back. Hmm, keep going. I yeah, know it's early, but that good. I know it is. I haven't had my coffee yet. Okay, it's two out three down. Bounce Spyro. Ooh, that was good damage. This is weak fire. Alright. You up a little bit. Up the stairs we go. Where it stops, no one knows. Oh, new enemy, level 70 magic. Those guys could be really nasty. <coughs> Maybe because watch this. They bounce Firaga 
And it heals them. You got a bomb bio. And heal yourself. Yeah, these guys are a little tricky, so yeah. Come on. Let's see if Blizzard does it. Oh, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, it's not going to do a lot of damage. Though. Oh, okay. That's good, boy. Ooh. Killing. All right, that one out of the bouncing pace of it. Okay. Sona. Some AP. Yep, I, and I think that's all the enemies. Well, yeah, I'll turn off. You've seen all the enemies. Oh, I want to to get rid of this freaking staircase. Uh oh. We got a dragon. Here we got a Kaganuki weapon for shadow. Probably never use it because it doesn't boost stats. But we'll fight this boss monster, the Holy Dragon. Now, this boss fight. Is unique is the only. It, this still has the rules of the um, focus tower. Um, he does use a lot of holy magic, which he can bounce off and it'll heal him. Uh, I don't think he can attack because I says I think he's still bound by the rules of the focus tower. So you can just bounce off elemental spells, bounce off um, flare if you want to. Does a pretty good damage, but you can still osmosis into it. You know, Yeah, he'll try and dispel, but with auto reflect, it doesn't work, buddy. There we go. Also, probably it's a good time to, like I said, just fill up on your MP, use them kind of as a battery to kind of recharge for the rest of the game, the rest of the tower. Be careful, because like I said he will heal himself with his holy magic a lot. So just keep up the damage, and you should be all right. I think you can target. I don't think he has auto reflect, but I still just bounce off myself just to be on the safe side. I just wish Strago could use his Lord. That's just so annoying. I mean, technically, it is magic. It's blue magic. I don't see why he wouldn't be able to use it, but, you know. Game is the way it is. Alright. Got him. Too bad you look like you. Oh god, I can't even think of a good pun for this one either. Looks like you're going to meet your maker, Holy Dragon. And we learned a crap ton of spells. Holy cow. Alright. And for defeating him, we get another Holy Lance. Two dragons are mean. Yep. Now we can have a Holy Lance on Edgar and uh, Maul. Now, in between... No. I will have to buy another pair of Dragoon Boots because I think I only have one. I only find one in this game. I definitely want two of them. One for Maul and one for uh, Edgar. Dragoon is probably the best setup for both of them. Uh, what was I looking to equip her with? Yeah. I don't think there's anything I'm really worried about. I guess I can put Kieran on him. Yeah, I think we're set and ready to go. Let's head up the stairs. More stairs. 
And you know what the worst part about it is? Even whenever you finish this area, you can't use teleport to get out of here. You literally have to walk all the way down. Here we got some force armor. Really, really good stuff. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're still good with all the stuff we got there. It's tempting, but I still like my Minerva boost case. They put our magic evasion 100 or something, but I think it's still good. And just continue up the stairs. What floor is it? I think we're somewhere in the teens. But wait, we can get to 30. I'm gonna throw up. Well, we finally get to the top of the Cultist Tower. Inside the chest, we get the Soul of the Masa, one of the best accessories in the game for magic users. Watch this. Go to the Soul of the Masa, turns magic to dual cast. Yeah, now you cast two spells a turn. You combine that with another relic if you can find it, the Kelestrid, which reduces all your magic point, all your magic cost to one. You can do some really, really horrible broken things. I'm not gonna do that because it literally, I find it literally breaks the game. <laughs> Especially if you have Ultima, oh my god. Quick, Ultima, Ultima, Ultima. Yeah, for what, four MP? Do the math on that one. <laughs> well. I think the cultists have finally noticed us going up their long stairway. No, I stole it fair and square. I'm not going to return it. No way. I want, oh, so they sent a ghost after me? Is it finally the ghost with the most? Wow, it just kind of floated. Why are you floating around like that? It's creepy. For boss battle time against the magic master. This guy can be really tricky. Fortunately, there's a trick you can use to easily defeat him. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the programmers forgot to make him immune to a certain state assailment. Berserk. Yeah. Let's see what I want to do. First things first, you want to get Berserk on him. That way all he can do is attack. And change barrier, which doesn't matter. Um, you want to get re-raise on everybody. First thing, get re-raise on everybody. <coughs> now that he's Berserk, all he can do is use physical attacks. Yep, this is where dual cast comes in real nice because you can sit there and, you know, multi-target re-raise. Once you have re-raise on everyone, I think we should be about good. I think there's one more re-raise left. Oh, can I see? I thought of Berserk, but why is he Faraga? He's Berserk. Alright. A thousand flare. And yeah, this is pretty much what you do to be. Bounce flare, you cast all time on him. An alternative strategy, which really does work though, is have everybody start casting Rasp or Osmosis. Steal away his MP. He's got like a lot of. I think he's got like 900. And like, he's got an absurd amount of MP. Probably in the thousands. But if you drain all his MP, it'll kill him. He does have a death um, spell. Whenever he dies, he will cast a spell. It's the reason why I have re-raise on everyone. But if you rasp all his MP away, he doesn't have enough and it'll bypass. I'm not gonna do that. I wanna showcase just normally doing damage. Which either way is viable. But if you don't have re-raise, rasp him all the way and it'll be an easy fight. It should be about it. I know y'all getting tired of the animation for Flare, but it's the most powerful magic spell I have right now. There he goes. Death spell Ultima! Kills everyone. This is why I won't re-raise on everyone. Because even if you die, my little buddies come down. The little cherubim re-raises everyone. Alright. And we're live! Ten magic points, and we get a mega elixir. Alright. 
Well, it looks like we finally conquered the Cultist Tower! What awaits us as we continue to explore the world of ruin for treasures, goods, artifacts, and friends in our final fight to defeat the vile Kefka! Find out next time. Let's play Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remastered. This is your ever low level Shadow Blade 730. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, maybe throw in a comment or two. And I will see you all next adventure. Take it easy.